I'll split the videos, by the way. <laughs> or just, like, delete the Genshin Impact part. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> that was a disaster. Why do Gashapon games hate fun? Like, why? You'd think fun would be a good thing, but no. Uh, is that... Is that all I get? Is that the biggest I get? Oh, oh, wow. That's, that's loud. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, no, it squishes it. No, I don't want to squish it. Can I get... <laughs> Hang on. RPG Maker. Squatch this up. Like that. Say goodbye to my wallpaper, unfortunately. You never played one? Well, you've seen me play them, haven't you, Morrow? I've streamed quite a few, at least. Um, where's chat? Chat, where are you? There you are. All right. All right. Gaze. The only option was gaze. Hold your memories close to your heart. Two to eight hour playtime. That is very wide. You don't, you shouldn't ever let go. Do you understand? Yes, mother. And then infinite blackness. Nothing but blackness forever. So I've seen somebody I never personally played. Um, hmm. If I do, shit, no, that doesn't work. Why? What's with RPG Maker and not like <sighs> wanting me to be able to see the game? Oh well, I'll deal with it. Might want to change picture too. I already did. It shows um, its pocket mirror now. Some stuff is like cash, which is stupid, but whatever. Wait, no, did it not change? Save. Ugh, YouTube is stupid. It should be Pocket Mirror now. Where am I? This is Sparkle. This is quite a golden Pocket Mirror. We did it! We got the Pocket Mirror. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sir Tap. -tap. <laughs> this was. My pocket mirror! Isn't that called like a, a compact? <gasps> I have a spooky anime face! That's bad. That's always bad. Oh, I'm a vampire. Shit. I can't see my own reflection. Well, we're a vampire. Can't reach the window. <sighs> Lowly problems, am I right? I haven't seen these flowers before. They vampire flowers? Let's check our pocket mirror. Oh, we got a menu! You know what's funny? I'm jealous of you guys seeing this full screen because I see this like... <laughs> Let me show you what I see. Oh. <laughs> this is what I see. So just <laughs> keep in mind. Keep in mind that I have to like tiny baby screen, but whatever. It's, it's okay. Game end. I have sad, I have sad Loli as my only inventory item. Use the pocket mirror. Hold the mirror. Its lid is beautifully adorned with fancy flower pattern. The letter G can be seen on its back. But can I be seen in the mirror? I can't reach the window. It's closed. I can't get out. Hmm. I've seen these, I think I've seen these flowers before. Oh, system. Is there like double the screen size? Creator's comments. Oh, that's neat. Not for first playthrough, obviously, but alternate versions. Oh, hearing impaired mode, yes. I'm deaf as shit. Oh. I'll try it on default mode. I'll try it. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's just, it's an RPG Maker thing. Sometimes you can make it double size. I think RPG Maker recent boy version does. Um, that's what, um, 
Omori has a double size option. What was that? Acquired a red marble. Mm -hmm. Eh? <gasps> Squeak. Spooky. Oh, you know, I should post on, um... Hang on. One, <laughs> one last interminable delay. But I'm gonna post on my channel telling people that, yes, we are playing Pocket Mirror. What, what is it about RPG Maker that makes so many good horror games, by the way? It doesn't make any sense conceptually. Like, it's an RPG engine. Like, why would that make for good horror? But it does. It's mostly the art and the story that really sells it, but it's very consistent that RPG Maker horror games are really good. There's no one here. The marble is glowing. Insert marble. It fit. Door opening sound number one. It's a chest. Oh, it's my save. Wow. We got like fancy UI stuff going on here. And we got 13 save files. Take that, Amori, with your freaking three save files. It's locked. South door is unlocked. Yep. The spooky anime face kind of cracks me up. Eglity. Ah, yes. I wonder who drew this. Oh no, creepy children. The worst. Was this here before? I don't know. I haven't been here before. This, is, this, is, this looks like they've been drawn by children. It does. The pale blonde doll sits on the floor with a sinister smile on her lips. Slowly nodding. Oh, okay. Oh, it appeared when I checked this thing. What's this? Ah, compass. Hang on. Can I... Uh, what's that called? Alt-Enter? Is that the thing? No. <laughs> now I just have a black screen. Great. Shit. That didn't work. That's weird. My, my HDMI stuff isn't working lately. I don't know what happened, but things just <laughs> stopped working. Left. Oh hey, the doll is the doll is in a different place now. That's good. Hmm. Is that over here? Acquired a green marble. What's up, Dolly? Okay. I don't want to approach it. Same. Well, let's never speak of the doll room again. This one's glowing too. Yeah, Twitch kind of had that problem too when you change streams. Streams just aren't really set up for playing multiple games. Caching and whatnot. This one is glowing too. is missing. Classic horror game shit. Well, let me put it in the thing. There you go. Yep, next door. Okay. It's hard to breathe in here. Uh-oh. A weeping angel clasps his hands in prayer, holding a rosary between his fingers. Pictures make me nervous. Hang on, can I improve the filtering here? Not that. Um, transform. 
scale filtering. No, point, I think, is the best filter, so yeah. This picture's making me nervous. What's this? Please forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. It wasn't my fault, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. These are... Oh! <laughs> They're writing themselves! Uh, the glories of automation. Look at Angel Class with Sam Emperor. Yeah. Um, excuse me, sir! S excuse me. I'm, um, the quill is moving on its own. We shall go together. Okay. I want to leave now. Oh. Good! What else do you got to say? That's Ely scribbling down that old scraps of paper. I want to go. What do I do? We haven't got a death yet, though. So that's, you know, rare for these kind of games. What do I do? It's not that. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Didn't, didn't mean it. Desk moving prank. Gone wrong. Now nah, he's, I'm sure he's fine. Ew. Crimson blood drips from the desktop, slowly pooling on the floor. <laughs> I love her reaction, just eh! Like a real person would. There's something shining inside. Yep, just put your hand right in the hole. It's always a good idea. <laughs> it, my hand is stuck. Press Z. Acquired a lavender marble. See, I told you, putting your hand in things is a good idea. Cool rest on top of notes. It's tip now completely worn down. Rest in peace, invisible drawings, man. You will be missed. Eh? None of them? No, we got our hand. Our hand is fine. Weird. There's six slots, but there's only three doors. I wonder if I can just like. Can I get like a screen magnifier? Magnifier, yeah. Uh. Uh. No, I just want one thing magnified. Hmm. You know what? If I put this over here. Probably the best way to magnify things. Hmm. This is kind of a shitty way to magnify things, but I'm using I'm using Window 10's magnifier thing. All right, you know what? That'll that'll have to do. Danky Kang. No, this is pocket mirror. Oh. Spooky. Miss. Yes. Who's there? Tell me, miss, how does the sky look today? Oh, I... I can't see from here. I see, thank you. Here, you can have this. Well, you can't lie to him. Part of blue marble. Oh, easy. It's gone. The mouth of the teapot overflows with cloudy, grubby mold. Ugh. You. Looks like it's been painted over. Painted over the windows? It has a musty smell. It's so pretty. It's a shame it's so dusty. Spooky castle. What's what what's up with lolies and getting lost in castles anyway? Like spooky murder castles specifically too. Like why why can't you get lost in like a a park or like a you know your house? He's somewhere safe. Amori trained me to fear mirrors. I mean, any horror game will tend to do that. Ugh. The old mirror gag is classic. Either you don't show up in the mirror, a different person shows up in the mirror, something shows up that's not in the room shows in the mirror. It's just, it's always classic stuff with mirrors. It's stuck. So much 
Oh, there's a run button. It's odd for a horror game. I'm sure there'll be a chase scene where that's like strictly necessary. Oh, let's try to force it open. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's blood. <laughs> There's something, like, I've seen the spooky anime face so many times, it kind of amuses me at this point. Think I'm funny? Funny like a clown, do I amuse you? Crimson drops hang off the flowers petals. See, I love, I love when games, um, um, have nice written descriptive text. Is that a finger? That's a finger. Especially for a horror game. That, that's one thing, I think, I am a sucker for good written descriptive text for stuff. And that's one thing these RPG Maker horror games almost always have. The surface of the mirror has been soiled with fresh blood. It drips down its frame and onto the floor. Footprints. They went into the mirror. Came from here. Illuminated by the sun, between water and fire, I rest on the dark side of the moon, awaiting your awakening. Uh oh, it's poem puzzles. Illuminated by the sun, between water and fire. Hmm. What does this mean? Well, somebody. So you keep that in mind in chat, I guess. I'm sure it'll be relevant. to go back in there. Yeah. Valid. It's too bright. I can't see anything. Something on the window's parapet. Ooh! There we go. We've almost summoned enough marbles to summon Satan. Maybe my pocket mirror would fit here. Oh! We can summon Satan! Huzzah! Hell, Satan, come to me. It works. I, I like RPG Maker horror games in general, but it's uh, this one has really good style to it. Shouldn't I ever let go? Do you understand? Oop! Oh, we broke the mirror. Maybe. Game over. What do you mean game over? I walked upstairs and I died. Okay. Don't don't go up the stairs. Helps the protagonist kind of looks like Lee a little bit. Got the eyes. I should bring it with me. Oh, we gotta, okay. You die if you leave behind the uh, the mirror. That's our soul or something, probably. The big mirror here. Yep. Man, how am I gonna like, make sure my hair doesn't look stupid? That sucks. Oh. Dolly. I don't like Dolly. Such a strange doll. I can't understand this handwriting. It must be mine then. Spines of these books are all scratched out. I can't read their titles. <laughs> well, that's no way to organize your books. It's not moving. But but I can hear it moving. They're dirty with footprints and I don't want to touch them. <laughs> I'm like, at least she's honest. She's like, no, no player. I don't want to put my hand in the toilet. Unlike James, the light is blinding me. Wow. Surf is too high up, I can't reach. It's all about things I don't understand. It's always gotta be a little girl, doesn't it? We've had a couple where like an adult male, but. <laughs> I like the, the random creaks on the floor. It's a very realistic touch. Surf is too high up, I can't reach. Yeah, you wanna make an RPG Maker horror game, you gotta start with a little girl that's like stuck in a castle or a mansion. Possibly a hospital. High school is very popular too, but uh, that's generally your selection. It's a diary. Something scribbled on the cover. Little goody two shoes. <laughs> she looks like she's like praying to God. I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor and cold, sleepless nights. Oh, steak! <laughs> this is shiny steak. 
and ribbons. I often dreamt about a better future, one that would fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and thick, expensive steaks. One day I heard an old woman talking about a strange rumor. This was certain someone had been granting wishes in the woods to anyone who dared summon a certain name. I was right! We did summon Satan! Someone who wasn't quite... Human. Unless if you cook your own steak, it's not that expensive. It really isn't! You can get a pretty good cut. Um, for, gosh. I'm not sure how many a pound, but I would get like... Um, uh, London broils, which aren't that bad. They're quite good, in my opinion. Um, you just gotta cook them right. But I'll get London broils. It's a pretty thick piece, and uh, it's pretty lean. But um, I'll get that for like seven bucks for like a pound. Shut up, phone. This isn't your time. What? Like a fucking spam. Why did that? Oh, I got spam texts. Why? What happened? <laughs> Bye, Dolly. The Dolly just pissed off. I mean, if you want to eat filet mignon every time. Hmm. Wet mirror. Pretty easy to cook, too. Yeah, I've, um, it's one of the few things I can cook pretty well. I haven't had a steak in a while, though. I should get some. Stay away from, from mirrors. The funny thing about horror games, I can't tell if I'm dead or... Oh, new area. <laughs> Looks at the camera like, what the hell did you do? Pumpkin! The, oh, do you see the spooky shadow? Oh, oh, that's a flag. I thought it was like a spooky, sinister shadow. Looks just like a normal mirror. Pumpkin. Pumpkin is asleep. Is this pumpkin snoring? Close shut, and the doorknob is stuck. Oh, that's a f I thought that was like a wall, but no, it's carpet. We got some good witch music going on. Oh, it's save. I like how there's 13 save files. Are you awake? Looking for something? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, thanks. Close shut, the doorknob is stuck. All right. What's her name? Do we have a name? We have zero charms and a red carpet. We don't have a name. Weird. That's a... Whatever. She's looking this way! Oh no, look away before you get turned into stone! Are you calling me a Gorgon? Shh, just pretend you're asleep or she'll get you. Blinded is a sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just, childish play. Right and left taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. The door just opened. I wish it just had auto run. It's not too big of an area though. Rebirth, 1785. The painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. Fate. 1655. Grasping the dagger buried into a chest, a lady sinks into the bottom of the sea. Poor girl. Yeah, I, I, you know, happy artists. Happy little trees. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? <laughs> she's, she's proud of it. She's like, you go, pumpkin. Trying to decide if the if the does the scaling look weird? I think it's just the no. I think it's fine. I wouldn't mind having my insides scooped out as long as I can become a yummy pumpkin pie. Aw, weird. He's a he's into pumpkin vor. Let's kink shame him. Satisfaction, 1800. A woman sits on a throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Art. Hey, 
Jungle Skog? I'll take my best stab at Oh! Acquired Pumpkin Charm! Uh, okay. They have one charm. Salvation, 1722. Painting of a woman laying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. How did I know? How did I know it was going to be sad? Did you know the pumpkin flowers are edible? I didn't know pumpkins had flowers. Punishment, 1538. A girl joins her two own two hands as her hair burns in crimson flames. Okay. Delusion, 1760. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. I'm going to guess that the owner of this castle has problems with women. Retribution, 1598. Reunited in a golden room, various smiling women witness the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Great. Or children. Such a horrible painting. Numb. 1633. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. Hey, loopy frog. It's been painted over. But I can see it. But I can see it's like a demon's butt or something. Oh, whatever. A dim light overflows through the window. Bridal Virgin, 1966. It's 1666. A ghostly pale girl sits on a well-carved wooden chair, wearing nothing but an airy white veil. That's weird. Nobody's being murdered in that painting. There's a, there's a bit of blood on the floor. Rightful Dominance, 1543. Various women engage in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. Oh, joy. I played Pocket Mirror once, it took me so long, and I got some ending I didn't even understand. I was mad. I wonder what we'll get. Yeah, I assume these games usually have multiple endings. I'll try to show them all off, but we might have to do what we did with, um, with, uh, Witch's House. I might have to show a YouTube video of them, but we'll see what we get. I'll worry about that when we come to it. Destiny! 1843. Grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. It's dripping at me. <laughs> this girl's face is just like... That should be... That's my face. It's wet. Does, does art get you wet? Is that me? No, it's not quite me. Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. <laughs> this chick definitely thinks she's better than me. I can already tell. It's like, <laughs> and she's got that spooky Japanese eye thing that like every horror thing has to have on her chest. Like you look at the titty and the titty looks back at you. Sisterly, 1844. Painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Call the ship a handsome lady. <laughs> She's a freaking pirate now! With like blood roses. Hatred, 1844. Painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. She seems to be upset. You'd be upset if you lost a fucking eye too. Why is the blood on the floor? Jeeves! I told you to clean the blood up. Hey little girl, get back here. Oh no. Oh nothing nothing good ever starts with that sentence. Hey, little girl, get in the van. We're going to Neverland Ranch. Ex excuse me, miss. Yes, <laughs> she said to the painting, as if this were all normal. But I've never seen a suspenders skirt, by the way. I get distracted by that every time. Would you please show me what you got there? What should I do? That, that seems like a really bad idea. Sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's all right. Sorry to have troubled you. I'd still love to take a look at that closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. Have you changed your mind? I'm gonna save. I feel I feel like I should save before I let people. It's locked. <sighs> okay. You know what? Take a look. All right, please just be careful. Look how happy she is about this. She just loves sharing. Uh-oh. 
Don't you laugh at my pocket mirror. I'll be taking this, thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please give it back. How oh, generous of you. I'm glad you take up that offer then. I'm sick of tired of being stared at. I command you to take out that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist, and we shall take yours instead? What, what do I do? I mean, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, already with this? Already with this? Uh, I better not. Just give it back. I'm sick of tired of being stared at. Oh, oh the whispers. I want to go home. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, what do I do? Drawing is based upon perspective. <laughs> All for silent like, yeah, I guess. Alright. Alright, we gotta block the eyes. Maybe we could just murk it up. No. Fine. It's just a painting. It's just a painting. Except for that one painting in, in Blight Dream. A blank dream. That, that wasn't a painting. But I'm sure it won't be like that. I'm sure it won't scream. I'm sure there won't be blood all over the floor. I'm so sorry. I'm... Alright. Well, it screamed, but I'm sure there won't be blood on the floor. Curse you, Annalise! Oh. <laughs> well, we died anyway. We still lost our eye and died. Heck. Okay. Hmm. Still don't know my name. Oh, shut up. I gotta read the thing. Can I just, like, not go in there? Oh! Interesting. Well, we'll see if there's another solution to this. I don't need to read the paintings. Hmm. Hey, little girl. Would you like to commit some murder for me? Nah. Nah, how about no? How about fuck you? Acquired pumpkin charm. I'm gonna guess there's a thing where you need like all of the pumpkin charms to get the, like the pumpkin ending. God damn it. Pumpkin, the door is locked. <laughs> I love her tepidly happy. Like, yeah, that's great. All right, this is really good. Um, like Kakarin. Kakakorin, Kakarot, Kaka, Carrot Cake. God damn it! All right, many suggestions. Uh, fine, have my mirror. Seems like a really smart plan. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I do? Help me. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Look, you're already down an eye. Just like. I don't know what to do. Do not pluck it out. I don't know. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. Look, let me just just put you on the, the wall um, perpendicular to it. You won't see her. Destiny. Something has to do with something in this room. It's a horrible painting. I wouldn't mind having my inside scooped out. <laughs> She's like, all right, don't tell me your fetishes. I'm like 10. Like, no, I don't need this in my life. Do you have to pluck it out and then run? Huh, I, I could have sworn I just instantly died, but. Pluck her eye out. So it's a run. It's one of those games where you gotta. 
Curse you, Annihilate! Oh, see, I thought that stuff just instantly spawned over me and I died. Ah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> they acquired a blue eyeball! Ah. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Great. Cool. Gamer moment. Maybe I should say it this way. Uh, my hand! I don't want to touch it. It's a spicy rope! Okay, we probably gotta do... Let me guess, we get a different eyeball over here. An eyeball floats in murky water, sealed inside an old jar. Eyes. More of these eyes. I want to see it once more. Oh, it's her. <laughs> Guys, it, it's the, um... It's the meme. Hang on. Oh, my YouTube, my, my thing is being dumb. I... How do I... Mouth. Wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's literally that. The mirror with the eyes. Like, come on. Oh, by the way, you can get cool emojis and stuff, and send stickers if you're uh, if you send a super chat or you uh, join the the YouTube channel. If you join as a member, you get these uh, dumb little emojis that we got. There's one just certain illustration illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. A pair of crimson colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. And if we get more peoples, we get um. We get more emoji slots. I mean, it's literally that face. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me, but no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters, which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? <laughs> I like how she's like a little girl playing with literally playing with blocks and she's like dealing with existential horror which again that's a pretty common thing from these rpg maker horror games in all honesty who am i to whom these memories belong i wonder they're certainly not mine and yet here they dwell inside the small room where i sit ever reminded these fabricated crimson irises which we played once again again a thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind <laughs> brave to call yourself a small mind but yet i still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes sad voice living in this small room i remember a dream i once had a tremendously vivid one a red carpet had laid before my feet which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall one that seemed to advance further and further with every step i took in an instant, I was thrown to a world I did not know existed. That seems familiar. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on the side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was the person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself into my memory. The soft texture of my skin, free and effortless movement I had to, made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected in the mirror was me. I could breathe and live. <laughs> Life dwelled inside my body, and yet, as I turned my head to look inside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of sensation I once knew was life. I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. 
Such a sad story. Yeah? Yeah, that about covers it. Uh-oh. Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optic nerve that connects to the eye of the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. We're gonna pop an eye in her head, aren't we? Various dusty jars rest in the corner, each one carrying a different colored eyeballs. And a pumpkin charm! I want to see the light once again. Huh. There's something in here. Pumpkin! An eye for an eye! Each jar floats an unusually big eyeball, standing in the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. I broke the puzzle already. The window is so dirty the light barely gets through. I gotta reset the puzzle, don't I? <laughs> I hate push puzzles that you like instantly fail by pushing it into a corner. Huh? There's like a dust moat here. See that? Do you want this? No? A splatter of blood stains the wall as small gelatinous pieces of flesh still hang to it. Delightful. Huh. I, I thought I had to like stick that in there, but maybe I just have to give it the eye. Maybe that's her. I have pumpkins on my menu now. Three charms. Do you want this eyeball? I want to see the light once again. Oh, I get it. You want to, like, mirror? Is this like a mirror? And, like, reflects, maybe? No? No? It was so dirty that the light barely leads through. It used to be in the mirror room, though it shattered long ago. Did you know that mirrors reflect light pretty well? If only there were enough shards. An eye for an eye. I think I kind of have the right idea with the mirror shard. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why there was that little dust moat. I just need to find one more mirror shard. You got any mirror shards in there? Eh? Why is she so nervous about this corner? Read again, leave. Oh no, we have to go all the way through it. Hmm. So I just need one more shard, I just don't know where to get it. Oh, Y'all got any of the mirror pieces? Various eyes. I don't want to see the light again. stupid wait she still has my mirror bitch has my mirror <sighs> all right bitch oh oh it's 
gotten dark, hasn't it? Now that you've done it. Oops. Faint. Yeah, those seem to be the same. Sometimes the guilty ones are fortunate enough to walk away unscathed. <laughs> How dare you. You actually had the guts to rip out her eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. <laughs> Same. Um. Ha 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 ha. Just give me my mirror back, bitch. Serves her right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. It's like my soul. Satisfaction. Penny's been ripped apart, and the lady who, who once sat there is no longer recognizable. I'm sorry. Vain glory. 1890. A lady laughs at the top of her lungs, holding a blood-stained eye patch in her left hand. I don't want to stay here any longer. I don't either. I don't like that bitch. But we got our mirror. So we can do the puzzle. Ah, jeez. But no, tap taps are enemies from Yoshi's Island. I wonder if I can play this with my uh, SNES controller. Let me see. No. At least not without restarting the game. Sometimes that works, but. Alright. Stand on the spot. Use that mirror. You see now, buddy? Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, bro. You got a red eyeball. At last we meet again. Uh, the girl in the story had red eyes. Don't think too much about it. Better take this with me. Bye, bro. Well, let's never go in either of those rooms ever again. Are you still asleep? Lazy bastard. Save immediately. Ow! My hand! Blinded as a sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just. Childish play. Right and left taken by the hand. With the eyeball. See, we don't share the same vision, miss. It pooped out the eyeball. Thanks. It's the wrong, so yeah. Noises. Why? With the meat noises truly necessary. Oops. For Gaben. We are forever grateful, miss. Thanks, buddies. Now I'm gonna save again. Do you have anything to say? Whatever, dude. Alright. Big spooky room, what's next? Can't see shit. Another big spooky hallway. Pumpkin! So a human head remains conscious for about 15 to 20 seconds after decapitation. It's a long-standing urban legend, not really any proof though. Just blinking, oh, oh, a spooky ghost! Oh, <laughs> dead. Should have known better than to follow the spooky ghost, huh? Oh well. That's why I saved. You do even the slightest mistake in these games. Blood, blood effect on screen and game over. For better or worse, we don't get the gruesome, like, fully animated deaths of uh, Misao.
Fun facts with Myths of Pumpkin. My favorite show. Blood. Bloody footprints, bloody footprints, going into a wall. Oh, you dropped your thing. Mesu ngebu. The letter I is engraved on the back of the fork. What are these? What are those? So dark you can't see clearly. Oh, it's a mirror. Of course it's a mirror. Oh, it's... Oh, no, no, that's baby. Oh, no, not babies. Oh, no, they're chairs. Okay, it's chair. Okay, I thought I thought it was cradles. It's not a sleepy pumpkin. Meat on the table. The letters F, K in the coffee. Oh, please. Don't turn me... Don't, please don't turn me into a pumpkin pie. Well, at least one of the pumpkins doesn't have a boar fetish. That's progress, right? There's a little, there's a little thing. Darkness is where I feel most comfortable. It won't ask me any questions. I won't try to understand you either. Thanks, you got a pumpkin charm. That's three. And it's these. <laughs> That was the weirdest sneeze I've ever had in my life. I almost coughed and then I kind of sneezed. That was that was a very unsatisfying sneeze. Something on the door, but I can't read it. It's too dark in here. I feel like saving would be a good idea. We did get some um, cutlery. This isn't a real door. It's painted on the wall. Why'd you paint a door? But why male models? They sit in the throne. I'll sit on the throne. Ooh, we got a light. There's a oh, there's an apple. Eat the apple. It seems like a good. They're good and nutritious. No. It's a thing. It's the sleepy pumpkin. These look yummy. There's even apple strudel. Oh. <laughs> the pumpkin is being stabbed. Oh, there's ghosts. The queen's pot is the absolute best. I'm going to eat it until I burst. I'm in pretty good mood right now. You can have this. We got a pumpkin charm times one. Oh, you get multiple. Oh, I got three pumpkin charms at once that time. Interesting. Sugary supper. There's blood. Of course there's blood. Red apple. Queen Egliot's dinner party menu. Royal apple strudel. Carl pumpkin pot de cream. Marvelous dream cake. The queen's favorite cookie cups. Smooth pumpkin mousse, pumpkin flan, specialty, secret deluxe dessert. Well, I want the secret, no, the, the secret deluxe dessert is me, isn't it? It's, it's children. We got three pumpkin charms. Like I'm ever going to talk to you again. <laughs> you can turn it into a pumpkin pie for all I care. What's with you guys' fascination with pumpkin pie? I very much like a queen, she's very kind. This candy. Oh, there's, there's a candy cane on the floor. Are you gonna show up like that? Hilarious! Hey, I look I look good. Screw you, this is the latest fashions. The guy knows nothing about fashion. Is there something sitting here? Such impudence! Mind your manners, you rude hussy! Uh, I'm sorry. Hm. As long as you can learn your lesson. This is our only chance to get together like this. I'm really grateful to our queen. I'm really looking forward to the deluxe special dessert. Everyone's been talking about it. You can't take out this chair, huh? I only came for the pumpkin flan. I'm so hungry. 
I wish the party would start already. Our queen is the kindest person you can meet. She's a true angel. I heard that the queen is preparing a surprise for all of us. I'm so excited. Is it my dead body? I hope it's not my dead body. Green and orange is such an awful combination. I wish my leaves were pink. That would look pretty, pretty fetching, wouldn't it? I hate the person who carved this face into my shell. I'm a very down-to-earth pumpkin. I don't want to be grinning all the time. Yeah, life sucks, buddy. I'm just here to please the queen. I don't even like these people. I would really appreciate if these guests would stop chattering. My head hurts. All right, before I sit down, I'm going to save a 15th time in the same room. Sit. What? But. <laughs> oh no! What is this? Oh no! Oh shit, there's a lot of eye stuff going on in this game and I don't like it. The Queen! Good evening everyone and thank you very much for attending my welcoming dinner party. <laughs> She's a squeaky doll. We shall so Egliet Poop Regina. <laughs> Pup. It's like puppet. R re regal puppet, I guess. We shall celebrate our guest's arrival with a toast! Bring in the desserts! She doesn't seem that bad. She's looking at me! <laughs> That's my face right now. Seems, seems fake, but okay. And who might you be? I'm your guest. I'm... Silence! What might you be doing here? Um, I... Silence! <laughs> that's, a, that's a high quality face. That is a bomb ass face if I do say so myself. I'm screen cap it. There we go. This magnifier is driving me insane, but it's the only way to like, see this game. In a not poopy manner. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. Magnifier. Oh, it's, it's playing with the magnifier kind of sucks, honestly. There we go. That's better. There's only one way to know! Answer correctly and you may stay, but dang it, it's wrong, and everyone knows what will happen. But wait, please, I. Silence! Tell me, little girl, what will be my order at tonight's dinner party? Well? Oh, now is the time to save. I'm going to start a diet right after this party. The Queen's party is the absolute best. Having a hard time deciding, miss? Ah, yes. Do you want advice? Maybe a hint? Yes! It's not the Queen's favorite cookie cups. Thank you, miss. So it's either that or it isn't that. Appreciate the guys who stop chattering. Royal apple strudel. Looks so yummy. It's taking so long. I haven't got all night. I'm sorry. Smooth pumpkin mousse. Smooth, puffy pumpkin mousse topped with a light swirl of chocolate and beautifully garnished with chopped almonds. Why are pumpkin charms? Marvelous dream cake. A tall, sponge chocolate cake covered in shiny chocolate icing and garnished with little white chocolate stars. This game's going to make me hungry. I'm, I don't think I've ever found a horror game that has made me hungry. Pumpkin flan, a couple of ramekins, rest in a big plate filled with orange pumpkin pudding and garnished with runny dark caramel. The queen's favorite cookie cups. Two cookie cups lay in a tray filled with various colorful fillings of fruit. A large ramekin lies on a tray filled with creamy pumpkin cream. It's creamy cream, it's double cream. Go ahead and guess it's these. Is 
isn't a real door. But she came in through the door. It's taking so long. I don't fully understand what I'm being asked to do here. Sit. So, which one is it? Uh, I mean, they're the queen's favorite. Oh! Did I get it right? I see you're not as ignorant as you look! Thanks. Thanks, bro. Thank you all for attending my special dinner party. I suppose I expect to see you all tonight's dancing party. As for you, my child. <laughs> I love the nervous smile. You're invited as well! I shall certainly enjoy such a smart girl's presence at my special event. Thank you. I hope not take my leave. The <laughs> There's garbage all over the table now. Ghost puke. The layered cake smothered in chocolate is tilting precariously on the edge. There's sprouts of mold on its surface. It's such a shame. Something on the cake. Ugh. Acquired a rusty key. A, pound, a mound of puffy, cloudy mold has covered the pumpkin mousse completely. The once golden brown apple strudel is now overflowing with a black slimy paste of dead insects! You know, Queen Egget put this candle next to me because she knows I get chilly really fast. Isn't she nice? I see, she really is nice. Queen Egglet looked really pretty as always. I do have to know. I have to know now. Save a separate file. What happens if you get it wrong? Other than death. This doesn't seem to animate the deaths too much. So maybe nothing too interesting. Which one is it? I think it's the Marble's Dream Cake. Maybe I got it wrong. Take her away! I showed my secret deluxe dessert today! Wait, I'm sorry I got it wrong. Dead. Oh. Oh, there is something to it. <laughs> Wait, please! Yeah. Where the secret deluxe dessert? We called that one. Game over. No, no, that's the one I. This one. Delicious moldy supper. Loneliness becomes your biggest friend after a little while. The hardest part is getting used to its presence. Okay, if you say so, buddy. Get away from me! I can't sleep like this. Shut up! You're the one who's too close. You two ever get along? No, no, they won't. I wish I could have been part of the party. It's a shame most plays facing this wall. <laughs> Queen Egglet sure is pretty. Too bad I'll never have a chance with her. Alright, there's a mysterious... Oh, is this the real door? Hmm. It's perfume. Drink me! Acquired a small bottle. Well, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Take a sip. Strange blue substance. How do I... How did I get into... Oh. It's locked. Ominous. Oh, did we check the desserts here? A white slimy mixture lays on the ramekins, sprinkled with dark spots. Uh, the once colorful cookie cups have fallen apart, revealing a black slimy filling. The once glossy cream has turned to a black matte texture. Oh, the door is real now. It's an elevator. So tiny, just like this room. Tiny little head. Oh, this tiny little door. Can't fit through the door. Oh, it's some Alice in Wonderland shit. I gotta drink the fluids. Yeah. Whoop! What just happened? Psst. Everything got bigger. <laughs> you should have become taller than me. Are these candles? Candles float eerily net close to the ground, floating backwards, their flames only millimeters from burning the ground. 
What is the chandelier? What is that? Bleh. Bleh. Graphics. <laughs> Dead. Ow. My leg! There's a bunny and a fox dancing. Where am I? Incrustable. Ladies are only foxes and men are only bunnies. We're practicing for tonight's party. What do you think about dancing, Miss? It's wonderful. You look, you look very elegant. Well, thank you very much. I'm gonna take a seat here. Is that how you dress for Queen Egghead's dancing body? Pfft. These are my only clothes I have. The severed head of a plush toy fox. This is so pretty. I've never seen floating pink candles before. I'm just gonna ignore the severed head. You know what? That's a good. That's a good idea, actually. Pumpkins. Why are you sitting over there? What did I say? I, I can't hear you from here. I'm asking you why you're sitting far away from me. You asked me if I want to practice skiing. No, you pumpkin head. I'm asking why you're sitting over there, not over here. No, I don't like my beef rare and medium heat. I like mine well done. Bad taste. <sighs> Never mind. What of the game reminds me of Mori. I mean, both RPG Maker with a horror vibe to them. Wired Pumpkin Charm times three. Where's the save point? Little fox stands in this corner. Seems running across its face in a hurry. Everyone likes to party, isn't that nice? I don't even know how to play chess. Just don't tell anyone. <sighs> Guess I'm just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. Fancy cat made entirely of walnut wood. Fragile looking tea set rests inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. Pumpkin charms. Wow, we're getting just fat stacks of pumpkin charms. 18 charms. Tea is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder which queen egglet will choose. Are you excited? Yes, I am. She's she's totally into this. Tonight's dance is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. All these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe that most of them don't even know how to read? Pathetic. What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Yes, I do. How did you know? Don't be silly. Of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Quite a needle and a thread that are bloody red. Th thanks, miss. Buns. Oh, rabbit, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Good evening, miss. Have we possibly met before? N no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. That's a shame. Because I would totally carve your pumpkin. I need an adult. I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. It's all right, miss. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, mister. You too. I don't like that guy. No pumpkins allowed. Okay. It's the no pump. It's the pumpkin racism room. All right. I'm getting nervous. Where's the uh, save point? Severed head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he all right? Yes, I'm all right. Thank you, miss. Ah, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. That's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? You don't have a body. It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? It's all right with you. Take a seat then. This might take a little while. Yes. In the past, Mrs. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the queen's favorite couple and we would dance for her every day. Because we're the star of every dance party, and we were even invited to dance for Queen Egglet's most precious party. Next thing we knew, everyone would become jealous and even envious of our talent. I see. One night, for one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Oh, there's blood. He's got blood coming out of his neck, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Apparently, we were too perfect, and we didn't leave any, any chances to be recognized by the Queen's. That's what the excuse they had to rip our bodies apart. They hid our limbs, leaving only our heads behind, so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. Indeed it is. Is there any way I can help you? I believe there isn't much you can do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. Might be able to find you for them, for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could? But how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please let me help you. I'm, I'm so into the situation. Now that there's plushy rabbits, I'm fine with this. You're truly kind, lady, miss. May I know your name? 
Sorry, Mr. Rabbit, I don't seem to know my own name. I'll definitely help you and Mr. Fox. Thank you, and please, if you run into her by any chance, please tell her I, everything's going to be all right. You leave that to me. Door unlocking sound. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. Yeah. Well, now we know why we got the, uh, the summon kit. Be rude to me because I'm lower class. The bows are moving on their own. Just like the piano we have at home. Pumpkin charms. Un Un Owen was her. It's like someone's playing the harp. My dream is to become a famous pianist. Do you think I could do that? Yes, definitely. She's so nice. I can't see my own reflection. She's the most wholesome ever. Pumpkin. The queen filled me up with punch. Is that hilarious? Are you feeling all right? All right. Did you ask me if you're doing all right? I've never felt this free in my entire life. I swear I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's let's not do that. <laughs> Does this go into the same room? It's locked. This door is locked. Ah. There's the save point. Give me a second here. I, uh, where's that magnifier? Oh, there it is. Um, BRB thing. Where's that? There we go. All right, I'm gonna be just a second here. And I'm gonna tweet this stream out again. So is there a particular reason that all of these RPG Maker games seem to use the older versions 
that don't like work well with you know newer resolutions and so forth there would be a way to just um, magnify just the game, but whatever. It looks fine on the stream, so I don't need to keep bitching about it. I need your help desperately! Yes, how can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom of Lottery, and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Aww. Yes, that's the one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. I thought, if, for a brief moment, I thought it said you got a shitty coin. But no, it's a shiny coin. It's going to be an eyeball. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Quite a fancy ribbon. Ah, it's a ribbon. A ribbon. <laughs> it's really cute. Don't You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. Boys can wear ribbons. I can't use my ribbon. So I miss, but it seems I can't play my prize after all. Still options though. Let's see if you get mad about this. Yes, you can. See, it looks pretty in you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does. There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. <laughs> Kawaii as hell. Someone remind me. Oh fuck. I pressed F12. I pressed F12 to take a screenshot like it's a... Oh, there's a thing. Um, I pressed F12 to take a screenshot like it's a Steam game. And it turns out that F12 resets the game. But no, somebody remind me. Gaze. So, wait, no, that's the new game. Or that's the old game option. Oh, god damn it. Hold your memories close to your heart. Oh, I really need to use the F12. Damn it. <laughs> Astral ship. Never heard of them, but this game is good, so. I'll have to see if they got other stuff. Gaze, recollect, or close. It's kind of laggy. Input. Alright, recollect. That's so weird. It plays the sound twice. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Is this... File 6? Did I save 6 files? Apparently I did. so I wouldn't forget about it. See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. I wonder if we needed that for something. He looks really happy. I'll do a separate save. There's probably like a secret ending where you have to like keep the, the thing. This box is locked shut. You know how video games be. Great surprises you await you in this room. Two, three, four. I can't open. Oh, I can open them before. Why, well, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, well, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? No, but but I will. All right. Tell me the answer to this next riddle. You'll be highly rewarded. Should you come for any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes. 
At his own funeral did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. What? Oops, you got it wrong! My hands! <laughs> What? I'm just picking the number? You're rather small, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. Three times did Mary poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Probably three. Correct! Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. Times and there won't be a fourth chance. Should any questions? What? You're not helpful. Here's the next riddle. Katharina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September, one mysterious as the moon. The other crossed, cursed with a sore temper. One day Valentina turned two. Katharina was half her age, years had passed. They were turmoil and rage. When she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived another tomorrow? It's not as if you're correct or anything. Here's the next riddle. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Miss Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that occurred. How many of dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Be careful now, little girl. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> Three. Too bad, seeing another life dead. Thanks. I, I, I missed the first part of the question. Sometimes you can read things even aloud and you don't really pick up on it. All right, all right. See them. So it must be five. Five baked dishes. But, huh. Here's the next riddle. Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. Tell me, little girl. What is the sum of the first page in each book? Two. Small girl, big brains! Here's the next riddle. A dreadful night, illuminated by a bright moon. One flourished like a flower in bloom. One a poisonous kiss on a waning crescent. Did I take your essence in a necrophagious ravishment? Bathed in the flowering darkness, did I dig your grave? Putting you to rest in a final farewell, your body I did I crave. Waxing moon, I don't like this story. On a waxing moon, I had my punishment between heaven and hell. Did I dwell in confinement? Three. Be careful now, little girl. Ow! <laughs> That's about his heart quite, isn't it? I don't follow the previous riddles and you might find them out. Here's the final riddle. I'm all powerful and almighty. Going through the doors is my specialty, and these twisted halls will stand. But fear not, my little girl. We ha have me in hand, for with a gentle touch I can undo the restraints casted upon you. A roasted chicken and a key. 
Good job, miss. You're one truly smart little girl. So I promised you as your reward. It's another key! Thank you, mister, but why am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. <laughs> I love her reactions. They're really good. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. A little hint for the future. Be kind and caring for your opponents. I tend to be rather daring. Miss. Yes. One more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Sure. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? A heart. I'll need more time to think about that. Worry not for the little girl, for the riddle's answer is not belong to me. It belongs to you. What do you mean? Mister? We did the thing. Keys. Let's shut. We got two keys now. Spooky noises. Door's locked. Try the rusty key. No? Try the dazzling key. No? No? It's locked. There we go. Ominous. Heard the rumors? They say Miss Fox has slipped into an eternal slumber due to what happened. Oh, I love stories with unhappy endings. What a horrible thing to say. I don't like that pumpkin. I don't especially like black dresses. That's a red dress! Such a frilly dress, it's so elegant. Those maid uniforms look like the, a lot like the others, the ones at home. You have maids at home? Once maid uniform looks like a lot like the ones at home. Acquired pumpkin charms! We have maids at home. Maids at home. They always tell me to look around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair. Wow, weird. They're moving. They better not. Should go through the blue one. Oh! They're broken. Come closer, little girl. Come closer. I have a big secret to tell you. What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I am actually a pumpkin! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that was a good face. Don't pay attention to that guy over there. He thinks he's a comedian. Oh. What's going on here? Hey, you! It's a Tanuki detective. What might a little girl like yourself be doing here? He's been in for an important investigation going on here. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just... Well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Tell me now. Do you happen to know how to read? Yes, I do. Great. You can please read this riddle for me. I killed not one, but eight in pairs of two. Clap your hands and you'll be able to see through. The detective is pretty ignorant. He'll never see the answer. Kisses and hugs from the ultimate dancer. <laughs> what was that? Who wrote this riddle? Did you read it wrong, you foul-mouthed girl? No, I read exactly what was written here. You know what? I have better things to do than playing detective. Gods, execute them both. I want to go home. No, wait. F and chat for all of the cute animal people. I. Good job, gods. Our work here is done. You, my girl, you can have this. Oh, no. Where the bloody bag? <laughs> the reaction shots are great. Torn parts of couple's body lay on the floor surrounded by crimson blood and stuffing. Acquired two severed arms. Thanks. Acquired a severed leg. Thanks. 
Don't touch anything in order to not disturb our investigation. All that's left is a pool of blood where once may have left it one of the murdered corpses. What's up, pumpkin? I must confess. Confess to what? It wasn't me. I just confessed. Please let me write to my mom before you take me in. <laughs> she giggled. She giggled at that. It, in this situation, it wasn't me for sure. I really don't like the detective. Isn't he kind of dumb? Don't watch. Still need to see her reflection. That was one job, job, job well done. Am I right? Just shoot everyone. <laughs> Technically, if you kill everyone, then the murderer must have died. Maybe now I can audition to become the queen's next favorite person. Laying on the ground, the couple rests in a pool of blood, their faces completely unrecognizable. Don't touch the thing. Only the heads of the two dancers were left in a pool of red stuffing. This is a nice comfy thing to sit on. An immense sea of stars lay beyond the window, floating softly in a whimsical, never-ending flow. So let me guess, there's three alternate dimensions and we get all of the limbs and like torsos to put the two to back together with. All right, in we go. Need to take these to Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Fox first, okay. Here's your, here's your pieces. Here's your arms. Leave body parts or keep body parts. Going through a lot of troubles for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I'll definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. I mean, it's going pretty well. Like, a bunch of people died, but maybe it's not going well at all, actually. We're gonna Frankenstein these boys up. Red zone. Red zone. That's what you get. It's not a black dress. That's what you get. Mm -hmm. Oh. Somehow even worse. What happened? Acquired a loose torso! Somehow, it's even worse. Their limbs went flying through the air like swoosh and bam! Two corpses lay in a pool of bloody stuffing. Though they're completely torn apart, their hands are still joined in a firm grip. Oh. Are they holding hands? This, oh my god, this is Fox stuffed in the goddamn piano. show, miss. You should have been here to watch. The corpse was reduced to a pool of blood and stuffing. Quite a severed leg! We got most of Miss Fox. She's just missing her arms. You can dance without arms. You can leave your friends behind. One of their hands came flying at me. It was so scary. Yeah, that's the scary part. Okay. get in here. Uh. Uh. Who was that? Locks in the corner. Its hands running across its face as if in a hurry. It wasn't me. I'm not even a dancer. I don't even have any legs. Please spare me. I have a family. Oh, I don't like that sound. Anxieties. <gasps> There's something strange inside. Don't you dare give me to into the guards! <laughs> Is there anyone looking for me out there? I don't know. I desperately need your help. You're the only one who can help me. Alright. Could you go outside and come back to tell me what's going on? Can you do that? I'll try. Okay. 
All right, Mr. Fox. I'll take a look. Oh wait, there's a, there's writing. On there. A very dangerous fugitive dancer is wanted by the royal guards. Anyone who turns them in will receive two lollipops as a reward. Nice. I want some lollipops. What's your favorite candy, chat? What do you like to eat? Oh shit. Don't get in our way. These are the Queen Elegate's orders. Okay. Don't want much. I think we got all of the pieces. Don't get in our way. Yeah, yeah. Shut tight. I was just a little girl like you shouldn't be wandering around in a place like this. Sorry, I just we're looking for a fugitive dancer. Have you seen her by any chance? No, I haven't. I see. Please do let us. She's a very serious threat to the kingdom safety. I see. Chocolate. Chocolate looks good. I wonder if this is another like ending branching point. Don't get in our way. Oh, cotton candy. I haven't had cotton candy in years. All that. Uh, I said I love both kinds. Hard to look for you, miss. I see. Could you open this cabinet for me? All right. <laughs> I've got you. You're coming outside with me now. What are you doing? Let me go. She was the bad guy. What's all this ruckus? That's her. We found the murderer. Please let me go. Silence. This girl is now my hostage. Shoot me and she will die as well. They don't. <laughs> Wait a minute. They don't give a shit. They do not give a fuck. Dead. Alright. Kinda of figured. And the mirror breaks. Let's go get an ace though, so we can get a blackjack. Alright. Try that again. Is that where I saved? All the way back here, oh crap. Shouldn't take too long. It's locked. Oh. Yeah. In key. I'll just save every time I bring them back their limbs. As one does. I was right though. RPG Maker Horror Games, they're just like always good. I'm sure there are some bad ones and stuff, but there's just so many really good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read this. Rude. Here's your pieces. Wouldn't it be weird for someone to like sew all like a bunch of other body parts on you and you're like, oh suddenly I'm like left handed now. Okay. That's normal. We're practicing for the party. They're gonna be so pissed once we finally put these guys back together. I'm so proud of that pumpkin though. He, he overcame, he overcame his gender normative beliefs and he, he wore his pretty ribbon. What a beautiful young man. So there was a torso and a leg, I believe. Somewhere around here. There's the leg. Nope. Where's that torso? 
There it is. <laughs> With beads! With a necklace. Hate to have a torso without, you know, your necklace. Something strange inside. Don't you dare get me into the gods! Is anyone looking out for me? I, I don't know. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you the head guard? Yeah, you are. Alright. Please kill the fox. Yes, I have. I figured that would probably be the right one. Please don't hurt her. Ah, she's dead. How did she even do this? There you are, you murderer. You traitor, why would you give me in? I, I'll never forgive you. Well, you won't have to. <laughs> Work here is done. Let's go report back to Queen El Elgiliet. I still don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Can I have your arms? The torn body of a dancer, blood pours out of various holes in her chest. I have no choice. Quiet a severed arm? I'm so sorry. I need him though. So sorry, buddy. You, you were a murderer though. I don't feel that bad. This is, this is just gross. Oh. Body on the table. Of course. Alright. Let's never come back here again. The last one, look, the first two were horrifying. The third one can't be that bad. It's gonna be fine. Place your bets. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's just gonna be completely normal. Nothing weird will happen. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit, I will fix you. Maybe I'll leave these here for a bit. Leave <laughs> Leave body parts. Keep body parts. Just, just leave them there for her. Right. Getting good mileage out of that meat noise. I can go for some cotton candy now, damn it. They used to. I used to see in like the candy aisle this like, you know, you can just buy packages of cotton candy. I don't think I've seen those in a while. Alright. Through the purple one. I'm sure it'll be fine. Good so far. Nothing unusual. The queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck facing the wall. It's a very special day. The queen has just arrived, I think. You think? See, it's normal! I was right! What's going on here? What's up, pumpkin? How exciting! Are you excited? I sure am excited. I've been this excited in my entire life. Just here to watch them all be executed! That's an awful thing to say. Yeah, people are gonna die. This is so thrilling! I've waited half my whole life for this moment. I wonder who will win. Door is closed. Oh, it's a dance off. It's a dance off, and everyone but the winner dies. I'm calling it. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have given me your best. But as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. The others who don't make it will be executed! E executed? It seems like a very bad deal. Who dares interrupt my ceremony? Nah, I'm just... Silence! Who are you? Where'd you come from? What are you doing in my ceremony? I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that thing be? Uh, I'm looking for... Limbs? Such a gruesome quest for such a fragile looking girl! Come closer, my girl. I shall aid you in your request. Thank you! You're more than welcome, miss. She's gonna kill me, isn't she? Well, don't your hand for me. You're gonna remove my hand, aren't you? You can have this one, miss. It's rather easy to obtain. God damn it. Freaking swole rabbit, though. 
you have any idea how hard it is to just like rip one of those off? Right. Something I lost is the, the correct answer, it seems. Honestly, part of the point of these games, though, is to get all of the wrong answers. <laughs> get all of the, the, the wonderfully gruesome deaths. That was definitely part of the thing in Misao. Just... <laughs> I think there's even an achievement for it. Alright. Alright. Gotta be smart about this. Gotta be clandestine. Uh -huh. I don't like this bunny very much. Yeah. Silence! Uh, I'm looking for something that I lost. I see, that's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I'll let you look for whatever it is you lost after the ceremony. Thank you. I'm gonna sit with the pumpkin. Wish I could dance like them, but unfortunately I'm a pumpkin. I should announce the winning couple, which is Mr. Rabbit, Mrs. Fox. As opposed to all the other Mr. Rabbits and Mrs. Foxes. Congratulations to the winners, you may step aside. As for all you failures, you should be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Soldiers march? She can. Yep. <laughs> Wait. Farewell, my servants, you have served me well. No! Oh, that's taken care of. It's time for tea! <clears throat> As for you, clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else. Y yes, I will. That's not fair. Get your own dudes to do it. Oh, that sounds getting very, very grating right now. Thanks. You got a severed arm. You got a loose torso. This is horrible. Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their one shiny fur. You got two severed legs. Couple's bodies lie torn apart, their expressions forever frozen in the moments of terror felt before they were their executions. Pitch black stuffing. What a delightful game. What do you have to say now? I'm just here to watch them all likes to be executed. Uh, these these didn't change. Good ominous hum music. All right, let's never go into these mirrors ever again. All right. Oakley Doakley. save just because it's a horror game that's what you gotta do here's your pieces back miss sorry Mr. Rabbit this was all I could find thank you for your help I'm glad to be able to help you you know what needle and thread am I missing something Fix Mr. Rabbit first. Oh, there we go. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? Yes, I do. Well, please sew us back together. I wish to be reunited with Mr. Mr. Fox. Of course, let me just find something to sew you with. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. There, all done. Can you move? There he is! Why, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. There he goes. Incredible. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mr. Rabbit? Miss Fox, I'm so glad you're alright. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you can dance again. Here, you can have this. This is the day the others ripped our bodies apart. I a special key. This is the key to the theater. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. 
Fox, Fox, will you give me this dance? Yes! I'm so happy I was able to help them. You can tell they're the better dancers because they dance faster. <laughs> That's the only valid aspect of dancing is how fast that you can do it. Go up here now. Oh no. Oh, this. Now we can go here now. Door's locked. Theater key. No, special key. Rusty key? Huh? So it was the key to the theater. I guess we gotta go. I think this is the part at the top. It didn't actually say that this one is locked, but. Yep, it was. I don't know what this rusty key is for. Ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna fight Magus! Hell yeah! Magus, come at me. Sit, don't sit. Sit. Some of the purple one. <gasps> it's starting. Be quiet. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that guy. Welcome to the most incredible of shows. The most amazing and impressive prose. The little girl whose days are counted. None of her wishes are being granted. <laughs> Shut up, sheep boy. Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But... Enjoy your stay, please. <laughs> Keep your memories close to your heart. Ominous advice. Oh, we got a projector going. <laughs> oh, it's starting. <laughs> That's music. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Egliette, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. Haha, <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and her stuffed doll. What better combination could there be? Together they were a riot. Known all throughout the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly little kids, I don't know. Silly little murderers they were. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties, the brains the size of a bee. Eggland was indeed Fleet's, Fleet his best friend. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. However, one day it started to rain, preventing Fleet from leaving the house. What a shame. This is going so goddamn fast. Inside Felina's house was a secret place. So secret, no one could go there. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl, she was Felina, who got in. It's not as if rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in this most amazing secret letter, Felina wondered. But what's this? This prose is terrible. The letter is filled with lies. What are these lies doing inside that room? How could they have gotten here? There was simply no way Felina could believe such early evil lies. There is no way it was Felina's fault. It couldn't have been Felina's fault. That's right! There was no way Fleeta could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fleeta was nothing but a pure little girl. There was no way it could have been Fleeta's fault. Simply because there was a very clear culprit. It was all that mean girl's fault. Uh oh, scissor lady. The very name of that evil culprit is... <laughs> <laughs> I can never take that scream seriously. Oh my, things have gotten interesting. Sparkles. What's going on? <laughs> you gotta love that. What, what, there's a name for that, I just don't remember what it is. But... <laughs> That inhuman sounding scream. 
Who the fuck is texting me? I keep getting spam text today. What the hell? And my do not disturb is on. What's what's the deal? That was quite an expressive show, wasn't it? But but it quit just before the ending. You gotta have the ending. That's the whole point. It's quite a show, wasn't it? I guess I don't have anything interesting to say. The books on the shelves are glued. <laughs> By the way, I can just go in. I can climb into the bookshelf. All these books are about plays. Boring. Oh, there's probably a ladder. I just can't see it. <laughs> the books on the shelves are glued to the bookshelf. I love that. The Krupnirung der Sekujusen Krankheiten by Karl Ludwig Karlbaum. Thank you. Thank you for that. So many letters. I wonder who they're from. It's the index of a book. A Witch's Guide to Medicinal Herbs. So many coloring books. Afternoon Tea Rhymes for the Children's. It's a very old book here. The Boy and the Pumpkin. There's a lot of pumpkins going on. I understand what's written here. This handwriting is too messy. It's filled with children's books. What's your favorite children's book? I was like Goodnight Moon and um, Where the Wild Things Are. I had these ones with like farm equipment. What was that all about? Oh, I don't remember the name of it anymore. But there was this one of like sentient farm equipment. Having adventures, you know, telling life lessons. Verat by Elise Lide. Lidl. No. Lidl. The Anatomy of Melancholy. Oh my god. That's so, that's so edgy. Never seen this language before. König Otkar's Glück and Ende by Franz Grillparzer. 1823. I wonder if the play is different depending on which seat you sit on. Probably not. Is everyone dead? <laughs> Everyone's dead. Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them! You don't mean you've done this yourselves, have you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have much to learn. Apparently hatred is one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? We're well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? Still doesn't justify what you've done. How does it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a best dish best served cold. Do you understand? Move along. We're very grateful for your good deeds towards us, after all. That's an old Klingon expression, I believe. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> this can't be... I knew when things started being happy that it was going to get real bad real fast. That's how it always is. Shoved into the goddamn piano. Can't think it didn't expect anything. Maybe the guys in here? No. No. There we go. Floral Meow, 1644. A group of cats surrounded by sunfl sunflowers. The part of the O is missing. It looks like sunflickers. Oh my god, it's a cat pumpkin. Oh no, I'm allergic to cats! Sneezed out some pumpkin charms. Yeah, I knew it. Don't kill the cats. I will be so pissed. Feline glory. Sir Meow Polian Conqueror of Per- Oh my son of a bitch. <laughs> How dare you make me read that? Sir Meow Polian Conqueror of Persia. Such a silly painting. You got pumpkin charms though. There's gotta be some kind of like ending thing. 
Cat Satisfaction 1713. A sleepy looking cat resting under a broad blue sky. Cat Eye 1697. Painting of a black cat's amber eye. What might be troubling you, little girl? I, I don't know, mister. Why might you not know, little girl? I don't know why someone would do something like that. I see. Listen, miss, our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do serve a purpose and will, in one way or another, affect your own. I see. Do you know this? I think it might cheer you up a little. You got a candy cane! Fortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will reassure you in the times of distress. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Money is awaiting you. Pumpkin charm. Queen's awaiting me. Queen, yeah. Advance with care, my girl. Cat ship. 1599. Get and sit on a fancy red bed playing with each other. I like how that's like, it's a, it's like a detoxification room. Like you, you see the gruesomeness and it's like, oh, you know what? Have some cute cats to look at. It'll chill you out. Queen Egliette's ceremony is about to begin. How exciting. What about that other girl? So lucky with, I'm an honored guest myself. Honored guest? Some don't know my name. Finally, now hurry on, the queen is waiting for you. Those look like poop emojis with like stuff stuck in them. Off with your head! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, this is definitely some, oh. I was just about to say, there's definitely some Alice in Wonderland inspiration and then, yes. A beautifully decorated tiered chocolate cake. Queenie Beanie, what's going on? Big chair. Do you really need a chair that big? Impressive! I knew you'd be able to reach me. What do you mean? Silence! <laughs> she just screams that at any provocation. I have but a couple of matters to aggress with you, my girl. Firstly, I'm here by announcing your demise if you will not be advanced if anything into this very room. Please wait, you can't just silence! Secondly, my dear, you'll soon be disappearing for good. I shall pay you my respects. I've had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. Such as but a foolish gamble, I have made my own move. Now it's time for you to make yours. Thanks, thanks for the squeak noise. Please wait, I need you to explain what's going on. Gods! Please, no wait. It's in your hands, my girl. It's your turn to claim what's yours. Uh, ca candy, please. Candy, the candy cane didn't help at all. Uh, well, I'm faster than them, at least. Can I like smash them? No. Cake. Eat the cake. Oh, I'm big. Yeah, get fucked! Get fucked! Haha, <laughs> I'm big now! Well, that was easy. Big. <laughs> Blackness. <laughs> what was that? Shh. You shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? Where are we? Had the three knocks yet? Have you? I sure hope. Haven't? I hope I don't. Uh. Oh. Oh dear. Well then. Rip Queenie. Well, it must have been that mean girl with the scissors. Because there's scissors. Queen Egliette. Remember, remember, just how tender were the queen's little lies. 
a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? Who could have done this? I don't see anything. Don't ask me. It wasn't me. I can't see anything. These windows suck. There's what? There's one purpose for a window, and that's to be able to see out of it. How do all of these windows fail this this sole purpose? Well, the queen sure got handled fast. Can't see anything. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells, and all pretty maids all in a row. There's two ways to go. Blue, blue, I'd go blue. I'd definitely go with blue. Blue, blue. Go with red. Red is the way to go. Red, red. It's not on the table. Hiding my darkened heart in a veil of innocence, I swore. Weeping into the darkness, confiding with the moon. As the sun rises, I put my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved in the afternoon. Oh, shit. I can be stolen or given away, and you will live. Yet you cannot live without me. Oh, it's, it's a heart. Okay, it's all riddles. What letter is like a crow's tail? What? <laughs> I guess it's like an L. Kind no? No, it's not like an L. Crow's tail. At least it doesn't kill you. It's locked. Oh, I need to read the... A crow's tail? I guess it's F? I... F. I don't get that one. Yeah. Quoth the raven, F in chat. Barkley red key, like a bat decorated with a small strap. Oh, do we only get one? Sparkly blue key shaped like a moon, decorated with a small strap. Golden key shaped like a heart, decorated with a strap. Oh, you only get one. I feel like it's the gold one. I mean, it didn't kill us. So presumably we were right. Scissors. Was there a save point? I'm, I'm getting nervous here. Is there a save point here? Nope. Jeez, no save point. All right. Gold key it is. So peaceful and pure, just like Sleeping Beauty. Scissors. A rose is on the ceiling. Strong light overflows between the iron bars, carrying a soft and cool breeze into the room. Huh? It's coming from this big chest. Huh? Key? What's in the box? Oh! It's you! <laughs> All right, who is the funny bunny who locked me inside this chest? You're that girl. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Uh -huh. I've never seen you around here before. How did you get here? <laughs> Smug ass look. You, but that's, but that's the queen. Was she not just murdered in cold blood like five seconds ago? I, I just, I see. 
You see you locked me up in this chest by any chance? No, I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. That's a shame. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. She's just gonna be... She's just gonna be Greg. Greg rules, okay. Ah, I see. So what are you doing here, miss? That's... Oh, no. Queen Eglia invited me. Oh, did she? Oh, did she now? Yes. All right, then. Speaking of Eglia, have you seen her? I came here to get her, but somebody locked me in this chest. Is that not her in your hands? I, uh... She must be in her throne. Let's go get her together. All right. By the way, miss, what's your name? Mine's Flita. Lilipachian princess. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember my name right now. Really? That's weird. It is weird, but it's rude to say that. It sure is. Anyway, let's go look for Egglet. I have a few royal matters to address with her. All right. Press A to interact with characters in your party. We have a party now. Let's go find Egglet. I have to talk to her. Well, this is going to be unfortunate. Oh, weird. She's leading the party now. We can't go this way yet. We need to look for Egliette. Okay. You know, let's... <laughs> Is that Egliet? Sorry, buddy. Egliet? <laughs> Egliet, what have they done to you? to save her. Alright, but how? I got an idea. Hold me up. <laughs> Fida, that hurts. <laughs> Shut up, just hurry. <laughs> she really is like Craig. <laughs> just a little bit more. I'm trying. Oh, that's really weird to hear in headphones. Oh, Egliet. Is, is she all right? Um, I'm glad. But she's ripped apart. Don't worry, I know how to sew. You do? Yes. Be careful. Here, I'll try my best. Ah, oh, yes. There, she's all ready. Stop. Oh, Egliette, I'm glad you're all right. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. Why did she have her inner sprite? They should have at least made one sprite with her, not with it. What's that? You didn't see who it was? Why can't you talk now? That's fine. All that matters is that you're safe now. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving Egliet. Oh, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. <laughs> Egliet and I want you to come play with us into our dollhouse. Would you want to come? Really? Can I? Of course. Come now, let's go. Anyone know how much longer this is? Um, someone said two to eight hours, which is like, what? Like if it's if this playthrough will be two hours, like, so I'm going to go left. Um, um, like I'd go, I just, I just finish it now. If it's just going to be another half hour, but if it's like a lot more, uh, we'll probably need to do another stream on a later date. Probably Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm trying to get to the Hikiko, Hikikomori route in um, Omori, but it'll take a while. Like, I have to get all the way to uh, Humphrey to, to actually get to the part where it, it diverges, so I'll have to play most of the game on my own. Step back a little. I'm going to do a magic trick. Magic trick? Do you know how to do magic? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now watch. Oh. Shades of a witch's house, which the witch's house or whatever. A garden? Yeah, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. <laughs> I need to go through here to reach my dollhouse. Let's go. I'll lead the way. You got pumpkin charms. So they can just be in things with no like text or anything. We have an actual party now. 
surprised by that. How did you meet Eglia? Oh, that's a long story. Do you want to hear it? Yes. One day I was taking a nap in the garden as always. But I took too long. The next thing I knew it was really late. So I decided to stay outside and watch the stars. One time I saw a big shooting star. I noticed it was coming in my direction, so I decided to catch it. The shooting star was Eglia. She was a gift from the skies. That seems highly unlikely. Ah, oh, really? Mm-hmm. She's very, very special to me. She's my one and only shooting star. That's amazing, Cleta. Isn't it? Are you lying? Oh well. Oh! What was that? I don't know, let's hurry. Uh oh. Spooky trees. This is all wrong. What is it, Fido? That garden. This isn't how it looked before. It used to be a plant straight ahead, but it's gone. Fine, Fleet. I'm sure I think it'll be all right. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do. What a prick! Let's go. I want to go home soon. Do you two little girls want to hear a joke? Listen to you, dumb tree, or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid jokes. Just tell me the way home this instant, or else. Such a loud missy you are. It's your mommy teach you manners. What did you just say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo shoo, go away. You're pestering me. Come back if you learn some respect. Calm down, Fleeta. Let me try to talk to him, alright? <laughs> Go ahead and try it. Now he's gonna try to tell you anything, anyways. Hello there, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now, and we were wondering if you could show us the way. Why, well, of course, it'd be my pleasure, miss. What? Thank you so much, mister. Now, there's a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you, heard, have you ever heard of it? I cannot believe this. Have you heard it? I, get... I know the one trick where you tie a thread. Something in the maze and you hold as you're walking so you don't look lost. You're right, miss. However, there's one that's even more effective, right? Blah, blah, look at me. I know how to talk to trees. <laughs> it's so impressive <laughs> that you know how the mess is to get out of a maze. Too bad that you're a tree. Look at her fucking face. Yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree. I want to go home. Carrying on. It's truly an easy method, miss. You need to just place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You'll never get lost, I guarantee you that. That's amazing, I never knew that trick. <laughs> thank you so much for your help. Uh-huh, so much thank you for your help. How do you know he's not lying? He's a tree. Wow. Kind of racist against trees. There's no way he would know how to walk out of a maze. He's never even walked. You're very welcome, miss. Be careful. Take care, especially with that noisy, noisy girl you have with you. What did you just call me, you old piece of wood? <laughs> thank you, mister. Well, then let's go. Please don't be mean to Mr. Trees. Even help us get out of this maid. Fine. You lead the way, Miss Goody Two Shoes. We'll see if you can get this out of this stupid maze. Alright. Always, always right turns. So, this is where these ended up. Are these yours? What are they doing here? These pieces always made me lose. So, I left them here so they'd learn their lesson. <laughs> I see. Tall white marble chess piece lies in the garden surface covered in ivy spreading along its length. Fire pumpkin charm. Let's always take a right. The, the, the tree told us to. Oh, this hole is really big. Isn't that a bit dangerous? It wasn't needed before. Maybe it opened after when the garden changed. Probably. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be one of those scary pumpkins. Ones that have spooky, shining eyes. I see. I hope you can really became, can become one in the future. <laughs> You'll probably become one of Egglet's pumpkin pies. Peter, you shouldn't have said that. And who are you to tell me what to say? Let's go. I don't have time to waste on pumpkins. Sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. What a nice child. Why are we even here? Was this not here before? No. We'll never get home like this. Fleeta. Don't worry, Fleeta. It'll be alright. 
You'll definitely get out of here, okay? I can't be so sure. I mean, last this is amazing, you know? I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. So let's try to get you out of here as soon as possible, alright? Alright. We'll take a rest. We can sit on that bench over there. Uh-huh. It's a gazebo. Fleeta. Hmm. Do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Egget. Stupid. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Egget's here for me no matter what. I see, I'm glad. Why'd you ask me that? Do you want to be my friend too? <laughs> me? No, I didn't ask because I wanted to be your friend. I, I don't want to impose. <laughs> you dummy. You're already mine and Egget's friend. She's kind of nice sometimes, maybe. Isn't that right, Egglet? Silence! See? <laughs> Thank you, Fleeta. Don't forget to thank Egliet as well. Oh, thank you, Egliet. <laughs> Let's go. We can't stay here all day. Yes. Got pumpkin charms. How many up to? Like 30? 33? Alright. I'm probably gonna go to the next save point. And then we'll call it quits for tonight. Largely unplanned stream. This was fun. The, the the Genshin Impact thing was not fun. I think I'll probably cut that out. And just make this only a, um... Oops, what's this called? Pocket Mirror. This will just be a Pocket Mirror stream. The, the Genshin part sucked, so... We'll just forget that ever happened, honestly. Mr. Pumpkin, can I ask you a question? I don't like the sound of that. Why, yes, you most certainly can. Would you buy us something? chance to what happened to the garden. Oh my, you have no idea how terrifying the whole ordeal was. I've never gone through such an unsettling event in all five months of my existence. What happened? See, I was just resting here suddenly. Everything went dark. The garden was like this when I got to my senses. So you don't really know how it got like this. Not really, no. Thanks. <laughs> I, love, I love that face that she makes. It's like, haha. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks, Thanks bro. I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you doubting me? Pumpkin, listen to me. Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside me, and every pump candy I know has pumpkin inside of them as well. Meaning you have candy inside like me. No, I don't. What's this, what's this about, pumpkins? Your Highness, you've come at just the right time. My friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside of them. No, they don't. They don't have any candy inside me whatsoever. I haven't heard anything about candy inside pumpkins before. <laughs> I knew it. No, I'm swearing I'm not lying. Please calm down, you two. Now, there's only one way to find out who is right. We just need to open you up and see for ourselves. This face is terrifying. Open me up? Wait, Fleeta, wouldn't that hurt them? What does it matter? It's for a much bigger purpose. Science. Wait, please don't open me up. Then what? Is there another way to check? He tried to reach for candy through his mouth. Oh. Alright, let's try that. You do it. Why me? Why me? Because I said so. Alright. Now say ah. Uh. Ugh. Uh, so, what was inside? <laughs> you got pumpkin charms! What the heck is that? Well, um, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Big fat liar. No. Let's just step away from them. Yes. I wonder what was back at the other branch then. Let's go check. Oh. Weird. Looks like a lump. Alright. <laughs> Even with the run key, you're not that fast in this game. Oh, interesting. Dead end there. Alright, what's down this way? I hope the dead ends don't actually kill you. No, you just get lost in the woods forever and you teleport. What happens? I don't know. It seems like we're in a different place now. Huh. Angry. I heard the Pumpkin King has come to visit. Aren't you excited? Pumpkin King? Ugh, I hate the Pumpkin King. Why? Mr. Tree looks very excited about it. Pumpkin King thinks he's all glorious and mighty. I hate stuck-up pumpkins like him. Right, Egliet? Don't you hate him too? Silence! The first 
The first time the pumpkin king appeared in the kingdom, he challenged Princess Fleeta to a chess game in exchange for a quiet place where he raises little pumpkins. Princess Fleeta lost to him. He went this righteous place in his garden. <laughs> That's just because he's a big cheater. Ah, oh, I see. Let's go. I don't want to be near this stupid scarecrow. need to only take right turns. I'll take a look as soon as the stream's over. Is it DP Jad or D Pajad? Oh, there's the oh. This is that dead end we saw before. You're not getting anywhere like this. You've been utterly useless. Oh no! Fleeta. If you get lost too many times, does, does the ending change or something? Well, she gone. Oh, crap, now I have to go back to a save, possibly. Oh, next time I find a save point, we'll save to a different slot. It's kind of pricked up. And it's been a while since a freaking save point, too, by the way. Spooky trees. Nope. Oh. Fleet his ass go. She, she behaves more like a Kermit. Leave Mr. Tree alone! You stupid tree. Take this and this, you despicable liar. Wait, Fleeta, what are you doing? Calm down. Why are you hitting him? He lied to us. No, he didn't, Fleeta. Calm down, alright? Then why did we get lost? It was my fault. <laughs> why did you say so? I'm sorry. Fine, she'll get lost again. Rude. Alright, so we didn't lose her. I think we could go anywhere here. Damn it! Oh, the mazes. Thrilling. Thrilling maze play. <laughs> you're close, you're close, you're so very close. Close to what, Mr. Pumpkin? Close, oh, close to the edge. I believe it's time to make a pledge. I, Princess Fleet, a ruler of all, swear I'll be friends with you for all of eternity. No, no, miss, it's not your turn. Either give Miss Fleeta your word or expect to burn. <laughs> oh, I'll be friends with Miss Fleeta for all eternity. The plans have been made, a precious promise that will never fade. Oh, that startled me. With this, we can be friends forever. Yes. But if you ever betray me, you know what will happen. Doesn't she, Egliette? Silence! Then let's go. Yes. No. Ma. You're worthless. Look at you. You're still lost. I'm sorry, Fleeta. My feet hurt. I'm hungry and tired. You're not even doing anything in this situation. I just don't know what to do. In that case, I'm going to go find my way out myself. No, Fleeta! We're friends forever! Wait. Aw, oh, come on. It's got to be some kind of ending condition thing. Especially with there being like no save points here. Which is cool. Very cool. Alright. Wait, did, did you see where... Just a marvelous thing. There was even more of a... Okay. Is it right? There's too many ways to go. It's not that way. Man...
course, there had to be a maze segment. Everyone loves the maze segment. Except for everyone. No one likes the maze segment. Down. There you are. Fleeta, don't come any closer. Please, let me talk to you. <laughs> promise I'm gonna get lost again, alright? How can you promise if you got some of us lost so much already? I know, I'm sorry, Fleeta. We need to keep trying, alright? Together. <laughs> Fine. We better not get lost again. Do my best. I guess we can try together, Fleeta. Can we hold hands? Whoa. I'm sorry, I didn't rate this stream 18 plus. Alright, they're gonna hold hands, so be careful. Let's do this together, alright? Uh-huh. Where's Carrie? Aglia, everywhere you go? Uh-huh. We never part from each other. Shit. At least give me a save point. Come on. Oh, jeez. Alright, this way... Up. Right down right down oh boy just a save point or two would really help it's not up this is back where we were if this is back where we were then this fuck Ah, maybe she just appears at random points in the maze to punish you for being a dumb bitch. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any way to go to the right here. Then, all right, do we go right or left? I think we must have gone right. There's a few more steps left. You should be out. Finally. I'm so relieved. Not that you did anything to help get us out here, but I... Oh, whatever. We, we made it. We made it and we didn't abandon her in the forest forever, so... Good ending? Maybe? Uh-oh. I have no idea how close this is to the ending, by the way. It probably isn't. Two to eight hours. <laughs> very, very rough estimate. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it won't be just two hours. This is it. We made it. I'm so glad. Let's go inside. I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. Your Highness, I'm glad you're finally back. Did something happen, Pumpkin? Oh, not at all. I'm just happy to see you. Oh, Pumpkin, you make me blush. May I ask who is next to you? Oh, Eric, she's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite a beautiful girl. Thank you, Pumpkin. Enough small talk. Let's go. All right. Goodbye, Pumpkin. It was nice meeting you. Let's come once again, miss. <laughs> of course, we got Pumpkin Charm. Gotta get the Pumpkin Charms. I'm curious how she's the one leading now. As you can see, Princess, we've taken good care of your dollhouse where you were away. Good job, trees, just as expected. <laughs> Thank you, tree. Oh, I see you brought a friend with you, Princess. Yeah, she's just some girl I found. <laughs> nice to meet you, little girl. Let's go, it's getting late. Some of these trees are pretty intense. off weird there. Um, trees. Alright. Let's go inside the spooky house. Tell me now, Princess Lita. How would you like the thing? Oh no. Ding dong, ding dong. Tell me, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. Ding dong, ding dong. Then tell me now, then. What's the rule of spring? Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, please. Don't you dare get it wrong. Ding dong, ding dong, don't worry, my friend. I'd never forget our theme song. Ding dong, ding dong, Marsh Precious Rule is not all pretty girls need a king. It's true. Welcome home, Princess Lita. Please do come inside. Thank you, door. Still no goddamn save points. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Save points right there. We're finally here. Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. <laughs> it's really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? Add a special pumpkin come in and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Well, let me show you around. Alright. Mood of this game changed completely 
Are you up to your room, princess? Yes, I am, pumpkin. Be careful not to eat too many tweets or else you get a tummy ache. That's so pumpkin. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the sheer malice. Like, how, how dare you? can't really do too great of a little girl voice, but I think Greg kind of fits her, like, attitude. Welcome home, princess. Who's that with you? Is, who's that you have with you, princess? Oh, she's a very special friend. Hello. Hello, miss. Welcome to our home. Thank you, pumpkins. So nice to pumpkins. Be sure to make the most rare, peaceful moments in life, little girl. Make the most of them. Or it is all but one frightening storm. That's true. Our own livings are shortened by father time and occasionally even by the whims of others. So be careful, my dear. These times you will need to consult your little weakened heart in order to break through the shadow. Uh, please, Pumpkin, just shut up already. I told you not to bother my guests with your boring lectures. No, Fleet, it's fine. Don't, I don't mind. But I do mind. Do, don't you ever say those kind of silly things ever again. Are we clear, Pumpkin? Yes, Your Highness. Such a lovely day, isn't it? Poor Pumpkin. <laughs> he was just trying to be real. Princess, Princess, I have a big favor to ask of you. You do? What is it, Pumpkin? You see, Princess, my tooth fell out this morning. I really want to get a coin for the tooth fairy. Would you please put my tooth onto my leaves? <laughs> me? Oh, no, Pumpkin. There's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. But, Princess, I want to have the tooth fairy to pay me a visit. Quit it, Pumpkin. I'll touch your filthy tooth. Please, it's just a tooth. Please. Plus, Mr. Pumpkin even asked you nicely and everything. Oh, isn't that true? Why don't you do it, then? Gladly. Don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will, really? Yes. Look at me, I'm so polite and kind. Still inside my mouth, just reach for it. Alright then, say ah. Oh. oh, look at me, I'm so much better than Fleeta. I got it. Just put it under your leaves. And it's all done. Thank you, kind miss. You're welcome, Pumpkin. I hope you can see the Tooth Fairy tonight. Me too, thank you so much. Are you two done yet? Oh, um, yes. Don't waste my time, I wanna go play. Sorry, Fleeta. Alright, I'll finish talking to the pumpkins. I love sunbathing. The warm light makes me feel right at home. I'll finish talking to the pumpkins. I think, oh, we, we are done talking about moments. So, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe, for the rest of this? Or at least more of this. I don't know if we'll finish it or not. I don't know how long this is exactly. But, that's Pocket Mirror, and I enjoyed that a heck of a lot. So, thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, all of that crap. Um, join us in the Discord. Toss out a little Discord link. And, um,. See you all later. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's color palette roulette. <laughs> Let me toss this. Can I? Oh, that's not really what I meant to do. That's from DP Jad in uh, in the chat. Little uh, color wheel roulette of tap tap. And also this. Never forget. Segoy pumpkin as well. Anyway, good night.